Hi, John Morgan here. Uh, here's a question I get a lot of times. What's the difference between a C add 9 and a C9? Well, as you hear, there is quite a difference. Uh, in this, a lot of times in uh, folk music, in contemporary worship music, stuff like that, there's a whole lot of add 9 chords. And a typical uh, chord progression I start beginning guitar players off with is a G chord, played like this with 3 and 4 both here on the high strings. And then a real easy code was C add 9 by just moving these two fingers over. So there's a C add 9. What it means, to make a chord we need three notes. We need a root, the third note up the scale, and then the fifth note up the scale from the root. So these whole chord names and numbers all have to do with how far the various notes are located up the scale away from the root note. Okay. If that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it. Just follow the fingers. Okay, so C add 9, that's where we should start because that's what a lot of people end up playing as they're learning their basic chords, say of a G, C add 9, and a D suspended. All three of those chords have your third and fourth finger on the first and second strings. So a C add 9 would just be like this. Very straightforward and simple. But a true C9 chord is very jazzy, not folky, very jazzy. And the way you play that, it has the same root note, C, where it gets the same name, C. Here's the third, third note of the scale. But then the other notes in this chord, of this particular form, involve laying your third finger down to cover three strings, the first, second, and third. So the root notes here. Now what's nice, if you're in the key of C, the 1-4-5 chord progression, which is the basic blues uh, progression, the one note is right here, it's the key of C, four notes up the scale, would be an F note, it's up here, it's at the 8th fret, you apply the same chord form, so there's an F9, C, the root note is on the 3rd fret of the A string, F, it's on the 8th uh, fret, then the 5 chord, 1, here's the root, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is at the 10th fret, apply that same chord form, and you have a G9. So if you want to play a nice little blues song, it would be like this, C9, 1, Up to the 8th fret, root note on the 8th fret. 1, 2, 3, 4. Back to C9. Let's go to F. Right there, roots on the 8th fret. Go back to C again. F, root on the 8th. Ten, so G9, back down. A little uh, spice it up a bit. So I'm just uh, alternating the bass note, C, and I'm going down, it's really a, it's a G, hitting the fifth, up to eight, back to C, here's a G, okay, so all you need to know, the names of the notes on this A string, and that's what nine chord you're playing when you apply that form. Alright, jazz it up.